What do you think of these commercials advertising equality between race or one recently I saw was a transgender commercial? What's your opinion about them? Curious on your thoughts. That was from Krista. It's from Krista. So, my thoughts about it are, I think some people need those kinds of um, commercials. But I, I firmly do believe that I grew up during a time when, um, when, you know, people, like, of all races have been able to coexist together. I grew up during a time where people have been able to coexist, understand each other, where, like, I have not really experienced any matter of direct forms of racism, like, ever. Um, and quite honestly, I do think that this idea that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like, the United States is racist, all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, that kind of thinking seems very off-putting to me, given the fact that I've actually grown up in a time where I've been able to do the things that I want to do, to get jobs that I've pursued, to be able to um, to work and to be able to go into various, to go to the bathroom, to not be, to not have to use a certain water fountain, to, um, have friends of all different races and, 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 uh, like people who've come from all over the world to have friends like that. I, I, I'm not too crazy about it, honestly. Um, I do understand the idea and the intent of wanting to be um, explicitly, um, um, what's the word, explicitly uh, inclusive, yes, inclusive is the word, to be explicitly inclusive to people like transgender people um, or black people or things like that. I don't know the, rec I don't know the questions, another question, I don't know the commercials that um, that um, Krista is referring to. I don't know what they are, what the what they consist of, so I can't comment on those things specifically. But I personally don't like this idea that um, all of a sudden black people are oppressed and now we have to save black people from themselves. This idea, like, this idea seems totally, like, I feel like it's a, it's not really solving anything that wasn't already solved. Because there we are under the same law, we are under the same laws, and I don't like to be associated with the idea that because I'm a certain skin color, that I'm for some reason less than someone else. Um, I don't like the idea that because I'm transgender that I'm less than someone else, but this is what people are... This is what, what a lot of people are pushing these days, that black people are so under the boot that they can't do anything for themselves. So we need the government to stand in and to help them to help them succeed. So we need to give black people money. We need to give black people free health care. We need to give black people free college tuition. We need to let black people into any school ever. And we also, at the same time, we also need to tell Asians to get the fuck out of our schools because um, that's being inclusive, apparently. So, I don't like the idea of being told that because I'm a certain color that I can't do something. And at no point in my life have I ever experienced direct racism or racism that I could identify because I live in a country that's actually trying to help everyone succeed. There are so many people from who come from Nigeria, who come from uh, who come from from Kenya, who just come from Africa in general. There's so many people who come to this country and succeed. They build a life from literally nothing and they find success. And I don't like the idea that those people are being ignored and I also don't like the idea of being told that that I am oppressed because I'm not. I'm not. So, um, with regards to race, that's my feeling on that. That's my thoughts on that. Um, being transgender is not something someone should choose to do or something that someone should, you know, like, be, like, excited about. Um, 
being trans is, is, well, I wouldn't say it is difficult. I would say it comes with its own challenges. Being transgender comes with its own challenges. And, um, I think if you play the game, if you play the game well, and you understand the rules, then you're able to get things done. Um, I don't know if being transgender has directly like affected my ability to find work. I don't know this. I don't know that. I don't know if that's the case. But what I do know is that I've still been able to find work despite despite being transgender. So, with that in mind, I think it's important to understand that having to make having to come to this conclusion and to reach this point where you like a person comes to the realization that they are transgender there are things that will come along with that there are challenges that come along with that and i think it's good to help people understand how to navigate through those things but i'm not i've never been the kind of person who wants to get a free handout so I'm, I'm less likely to take the handout, and I'm more likely to say, well, how do I do something? How can I reach my goals and still be able to manage my life and, and live and thrive as a, as a, just a human being? And that's really how I live my life. That's how I've lived my life. Um, I took a lot of risks as a trans person. I took a lot of risks. Um, but they made me stronger. And I know some people will say, well, you shouldn't have to go through that. You shouldn't have to suffer like that. You're so brave. Um, I've never considered myself brave. It was something that I came to the conclusion that I had to do. And I'm simply doing my best to live my life. And I'm still doing a pretty good job of achieving that. But because I understand the rules, I understand how the game is played. And I am doing what I can to find success. And people, people are recognizing me not because I'm black, not because I'm trans, but because I've shown them to be useful, to be skilled, to be um, someone worth hiring. I've been, I've moved forward based on my merits, not on my identity. And I don't want this idea that people should just get things for free because they look certain way or because they are a certain thing I don't I'm not in favor of handouts and I don't want handouts because I worked my ass off and I think everyone should too because we live in a country that allows for you to work your ass off to work hard to put in the effort to achieve many things in life but it all depends on whether you're willing to actually do that are you going to step up are you going to take the step forward are you going to take those risks are you going to try to explain your situation and try to get try to have people to understand where you're coming from? Or are you just gonna say, well, I'm black, so I should deserve everything. Oh, I'm trans, so I should just get aid for everything. Like, hey, yeah, I'm trans, come on, just give me give me all the money. Give me give me like all the money, all the aid, just just give give me everything, make everything super easy for me. I don't I don't really ascribe to that kind of lifestyle. So, people have their thoughts on it. I just don't like thinking that I'm less and that being told that I'm less by commercials or whatever is grounds for giving me a handout because I am not less. I am so much more than what these people who say that I'm oppressed think that I am. And I think it's insulting that they want to say things like, well, because you're black, you should you should be given everything. You should be, because you're oppressed, you're black, you're trans. I think that's insulting to people like me who are actually willing to step up and do the work. And everyone who lives in America has the ability to do that. But some people think that's not the case. So we are where we are now. And that's my spiel on on, uh, you know, race and, uh, you know, transgender commercials and equality and things like that.